Warm nights and clear skies going to make for some great stargazing this month here in the Midlands from stars to planets and more. Meteorologist Corey Smith breaks down what you have to look forward to. We've made it to the month of August, which means it's time to take a look at the night sky here across the Midlands. Let's start off with this week, some International Space Station flyovers. We had one Sunday night, again on Monday night, 9.07 p.m. They'll be appearing in the northwestern sky. And if you missed this one, we'll have another flyover on Tuesday and Wednesday night as well. We'll have the latest information on social media as we get closer to those and as we go throughout the rest of this month. Some more cool events, the Perseid meteor shower referred to as one of the better meteor showers that we see each year peaking in the 11th through the 13th time frame of August. One thing to caution though the full moon on the 11th itself so it will be a little bit harder to see some of these shooting stars in the night sky. I would actually go out between the August 7th and 11th time frame to maybe see some of those meteors in the overnight hours. As for planets to view, August 15th, Jupiter and the moon will be in the night sky right after 11 p.m. through the early morning hours. And then as you go towards the 19th, the moon, Mars, and the Pleiades star cluster in the morning sky as well. Just look out towards the east and southeast. One thing that we'll be keeping a very close eye on as we head towards the end of the month is the Artemis 1 launch. This will be the first launch of the SLS rocket. This is the most powerful rocket ever launched in the history of mankind and will be making a return trip to the moon. The first since the Apollo program. This one unmanned, but as you get later on in the Artemis program, the US is expecting to send men and women back to the moon. This launch is scheduled for August 29th. If that changes, I'll let you know. As for the Skywatch forecast, over the next seven days, we're looking pretty good as we go Monday into Tuesday, mostly clear skies past that. We'll keep an eye out for some cloud cover, but overall, not really seeing any issues over the next seven days for those nighttime viewing conditions. If you get any photos or videos of anything we talked about over the upcoming month, make sure to send those to us on social media. We'd absolutely love to see that and share it possibly on air. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist, Corey Smith.